was a big step for monumental sports as legislation to move the teams advanced. We were very encouraged on Friday by the 17 to 3 vote in the House Appropriations Committee. But then a setback over the weekend and Monday when a top Democrat said as far as she's concerned, the bill is dead. That legislation will then go to the Senate and we are eager to engage with the Senate Finance Committee. Monumental Sports staying confident in a press conference telling 7 News they are 100 percent focused on Virginia. If it fails in the Senate, what's next? What's what's next after that? Uh, I, Just I don't think we're going to fail in the Senate. I think we're uh, that this project will continue because it's the right thing. Um, for the city, for the Commonwealth, and, and for sports fans. Over the weekend, Mayor Muriel Bowser published an op-ed in the Washington Post saying she plans to enforce the lease that would keep the teams at Capital One Arena until 2047. We also want to be clear that we and I have a responsibility to do what's best for D.C. taxpayers, and we are prepared uh, to work hand-in-hand -hand with Monumental. We have a $500 million offer on the table.